There's a lot of things that I would classify as my favorite things and butter is definitely one of them. For me, fresh bread with enough butter smeared on it that you can see your teeth marks, that's what it's all about. I'm gonna show you how to make fresh butter. It is deceptively easy, it's really simple. You just need good cream to start with. Right, cream, straight in. That's the hardest bit, right? Seriously. Mix it down. You can do this by hand, but you would need massive muscles, which I clearly don't have. So get it on medium speed for about 10 minutes. You can see now it's kind of, it's like a, a whipped cream essentially, like a beautiful whipped cream that you'd have a dollar with a lemon tart or a chocolate tart. Delicious. If you were making whipped cream, this would be your nightmare. The cream is now over whipped. You can see it just starting to separate a little bit. It's starting to split is what we call it. So now we're just gonna turn it down a notch in the speed so as we don't emulsify itself. What we wanna do is split right out. In order for that to happen, we really need to just to slow it down a little bit. We're gonna slow it down another notch once it properly splits. And now we're gonna slow it right down. You can see that it's completely split now. We've now got what you can see, the beginning of butter. And it's starting to move differently in the bowl as well. So we're knocking the speed right down to number two. And what that's gonna do is actually, you'll, you'll see just all of a sudden, the buttermilk will start falling out. Very busy over here, making butter. Mm -hmm. All right, have a look at the texture of it now. It's gone really weird looking. And this is moments before the buttermilk just lets go. So you can see now the buttermilk's fallen out of it. And now the whisk is actually starting to gather up the butter and slowly sort of move it around the bowl. I've got this now down at the last, the slowest speed possible. And watch the whisk just gather together that butter and separate it completely away from the buttermilk. We're here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. Have a look in the bowl, butter and buttermilk. So just get your whisk and just use it as a, a sieve almost, just to pour off the buttermilk. Look at that rich, thick, delicious buttermilk. The next stage is to wash the butter. It sounds a bit weird that we have to wash butter, right? Now, ice water, why? Two things, one, the butter is pretty soft. We don't want to have a sort of a buttery mess. Because there are still a fair, well not a fair amount, but a reasonable little quantity of buttermilk still floating around in the butter. We wanna wash that out and it'll actually increase the shelf life of our butter and stop it from going weird tasting. So what I wanna do is just, first of all, give the butter just a light squeeze to let it firm up immediately in the ice so my hot hands don't melt the butter. So now that it's, it's manageable without melting, what I wanna do is two things. One, I'm squeezing and have a look at the color of the liquid that comes out. You can see it's pretty cloudy, that's the buttermilk. I just wanna get my hands into the ice and just massage it. So now we're squeezing. And you wanna get as much liquid out as you possibly can. It's a little bit messy in the old hands. So I'm gonna move this to the side just to show you. At this stage, if you want salted butter, now's a, now's a moment where you just spread your butter out and just lightly season it. So you're looking about 1% salt is enough salt to season it. And then you just massage it in. You could do like a, a very sort of rustic looking thing like that, where it looks like it just came off a farm somewhere. Get it in an equally rustic little bowl with some wax paper. It looks pretty fancy, doesn't it? Or we can go back to the, the old fashioned days of making butter bowls. So get yourself a bowl, right? And just try and shape it as much as you can back into the ice water. And then these guys, like little gnocchi boards, get your bowl that's now pretty cold and set it on the top and just gently move it around. And what you end up with is like a crazy kind of, a little bit like a golf ball, I suppose. But like, how good does that look? I think they need to bring back butter bowls. Anyway, there you go. Butter out of fresh cream. All you need is good quality cream. That is it. Then you've got delicious salted, unsalted butter and you've got 
the best buttermilk that you have ever had. It's way better than the buttermilk you buy in the store. We're gonna put up some recipes with what to do with buttermilk as well pretty soon. Scones, sauces, all sorts of stuff. Either way, butter, get after it.